What is up everybody, this is your host Superside, and welcome back to another video of Battlelands and in this one I'm going to be covering everything we know so far about the upcoming Battlelands update as well as into the future even past that as well as a snapshot of something that's now been edited by the Future Play team on the this real cool link in which you can see some stuff anyway I'll show you about that. So anyway it all started on the 20th of March 2019 when they posted this epic picture right here. Now, I know I'll just very, very briefly go over this. I've got tons more to cover of what we know, what's coming up in the update, what's confirmed, and stuff like that. Anyway, this real cool one was posted here by Future Play. Got everyone hyped. And then, anyway, they mentioned a video in a later post. So, that there was like a squad sneak peek. So, they mentioned it, uh, this video they're going to be doing in a post. Anyway, this is the video here, and I thought under fair use, I'll be able to use this. I also tried to get the snapshots. You know, like when you're talking, there's always, you know, nicer and unnicer, you know, positions your faces in. I find that all the time on streams. There's many positions like, oh, I just don't like that. Anyway, I try to get nice screenshots all the time. You two look awesome. Anyway, this was a video. It was called Community Update March 2019. Big update, uh, Battlelands Royale. It was a 3 minute 18 video. And anyway, they went on a lot about how that this time they're going to be more transparent, more open with the upcoming future updates in regards to Battlelands. Now, this is, for me, personally, I consider a complete 360 turnaround from season 1, 2, 3, 4, that they weren't given out an inch, an iota of information. It was like complete, total secrecy. Like, it was just like, nope. It's everything is just gonna be like completely secret, completely surprised. And in some ways, I did enjoy that. So, um, I am kind of surprised, but uh, uh, pleasantly surprised. It's kind of cool because now we'll get to know some of the stuff. Although, I kind of wish that kept a little bit, like, you know, the odd thing secret so they could just pop it in there and be like, oh, this was cool, rather than knowing absolutely everything. But yeah, I'm still very happy. It'll be cool to know all this stuff. Anyway, let's move on. Boom. Boom, this one here. So they said it all about the community update. This was a community update and they're explaining all about it. So anyway, boom, squads are confirmed. That's right. In the next update, there will be squads and I cannot wait. They had a cool dance. I was, I love the video. I love the video, the, the whole video. It was really cool. It was very well done. Top notch future play. So anyway, they've got squads confirmed. So that is indeed confirmed. Anyway, next thing. Battle plan. So this is what they were doing, like, and in this it shows that squads confirmed, but it has a whole heap of stuff that they've confirmed, you know, this is going to be in the next update and whatnot, and it shows you the different stage in there. So anyway, we move on. Boom. Wait, there's more. So there's more than just the squads. There's more than just the squads. We go on again. Whoosh. And that is indeed melee. I always say me melee or me. I don't know even what I say. Anyway, I always thought it was me melee. Uh, anyway, I don't know what it is. Anyway, they got they're gonna have these weapons. So I have no clue how they work. Is it like you know like I thought you know fists were like the only melee weapon. You know it's like what sort of weapons are they gonna have? And how they're gonna work, because uh, it's kind of weird with like a, you know, a gun game, you know, a long range gun game sort of thing. Well, not just gun game, but you know, like guns are the primary weapon. And so they have like, you know, like other things. It would be kind of weird, because I guess like, you know, a shotgun's kind of like a non, you know, weapon like that. You know, it's just sort of a close range kind of thing. Also, when going back to the squads, I know a few of you are concerned and quite possibly fairly so about how with the squads then there'll be some ultra squads with top players and then it will just be like they'll get ultra high win ratios that is quite possible that will happen uh, i i uh, like i i agree that's probably quite potentially going to happen where i don't personally consider an issue if certain players get super high win ratios i think that will be fine uh but i do i also do recognize that as a genuine concern but i'm sure that that uh, benefits will far outweigh the concerns when squads comes along. Okay, boom. So we got that confirmed. We got that. So we got squads confirmed. We got melee weapons confirmed. Boom. We also have upgradable characters confirmed. Now, what will that be? I don't know. But I presume that you'll be able to, like, upgrade them so, like, for example, you might be able to upgrade their speed from, like, let's say, the, all the speeds are currently on 100. And you could, like, upgrade it by 5% so it's 105. Or that it's better, you know, more accurate. That would be great for the minigun. Uh, or it has is like, you know, the shots do more damage, or I don't know what, I don't know what, I don't know, upgrade it, because upgrade, it's, it's different to customize, because customize to do with looks, upgrade, in my mind, is something that you can make it go better, which is more efficient, and so it, it, it's, it, uh, hopefully it doesn't open a can of worms, and it like costs like a, a grand to like max it out, and so players that upgrade at max will have like the super ability, I doubt that will happen, like that that's going to be how it's implemented, it potentially could, I assume there will just be some minor upgrades that won't like rapidly change that if you pay money, I presume it costs money, I don't know, it could be coins, hopefully, well, I don't know if hope is that or not, or 
excess XP you can use. I don't know what the currency will be, but you'll be able to upgrade your characters. How much so? I don't know, because if it's too much, then there will become a big imbalance between those who are paying upgrade or not. Hopefully, it's not huge, huge, but at the same time, it will be kind of cool to have slightly better characters, but hopefully everyone has the opportunity to eventually get that if they play Battlelands for a reasonable amount of time. Okay, so we got, that's three things confirmed. Next thing, this here, the new AI, the new display or lobby or whatnot. Anyway, it looks very cool. First thing I noticed was five fifty two thousand and two battlers online it's like wow that is insane that's that's like five times better than the eu at peak uh, uh approximately anyway it's, it looks very similar it's got all the stuff there you know it's got the book and the, the achievements the settings over here it's got the coins that you can add more you know the name the level the battler thing the shop the season the social the events everything is pretty similar all the the links there to the different social things in the game mode squads and whatnot and boom, so we come out. But it does look very nice. It does look very nice. How the squads will work, I'm not sure. Like, for example, will all four have to be friends? Or can you just, like, have one friend and you're invited to the thing and then they invite the other ones? I hope it's that, because otherwise I'm really limited uh, as to the four I can have due to this, you know. But, yeah, hopefully yeah, everyone can invite as many as they want. Hopefully. It will be cool. And I love the crown on her head. That looks real cool. So that will, that should be awesome. So that there is a different layout. It looks looks reasonable. That, how it is currently is real nice, but that there looks pretty cool as well. Okay, moving on. Boom. The the date it will happen is April the 17th, which may for me be at the 18th. Uh, so it's the 17th of April, which, yeah, is, uh, and it might depend on your time zone as to when it's rolled out and whatnot. But that is the date that it will be happening. Boom. Moving on. Oh, yeah, this year is just, uh, yeah, so it's got... 8,422 views, 1.2k likes, or was released like yesterday or the day before, uh, whatnot, and it's in the playlist of the dev updates in there. So, boom. Uh, yeah, I gave it a like. Whoosh, moving on. So, this year is on their page of new stuff, which is real cool. So, coming soon. Now, this, this year is the confirmed stuff, because the green means it will be in the next update. Yellow means they're working on it. So, they may or may not, well, technically they're working on it. So, anyway, Season 5, of course, squads, yes. But interesting, it doesn't say squads and trios, which I will be answering in a in a future screenshot. Okay, boom, moving on. Another thing, the UI rework. So I'm not sure if that's like you know the home screen or not, or if that's well, how it is. Uh, maybe it's just the characters. Uh, it will be. I'm not sure with that. As you can see, there's so there's that going to be in the next update as well as melee weapons, which will be in the next update as well as new exciting character customization. Now, interesting how they use the word customization here, whereas before they used upgrade. So will it be both, or uh, do they just interchange the words? Because to me upgrade is a lot different to customization you know like if you for example have a peacemaker and you get an upgraded weapon it's like you get the ar you don't get a pink you know peacemaker anyway so that as well as a new lobby system so that will be interesting i really hope it works and solves all the friend issues i really do hope so and so then there won't be like it lags or it disconnects or they don't show up when it's online yeah so i really really hope that will be fixed i'm really happy that that is indeed going to be included so the new exciting character customization no idea how, how that'll work i remember everyone was excited for the flags but uh, people wanted to customize flags i i wouldn't mind customizing the flags. that'd be cool anyway that's another thing well it's not in this update but the new exciting character customization Customization is. Okay, moving on. Boom. Now, this is in the future. So, this year is not going to be in the direct next update. All that stuff is for the upcoming update, which will be in se Season 5 update and have all this stuff. I'm kind of, it's kind of disappointing that, you know, it's been delayed a bit, but at the same time, I'm really happy that they're inlining it, because, um... Like in season four, right? They had the they had the you know all the battle events and all that just before season four started. So it was technically part of the season three, and then it felt like season four was a bit of a nothing burger, in my opinion, uh, just because there was like no updates really, no significant updates in it. But now that they're aligning, it's like all oh, this is exciting, you know, it's a whole heap of stuff coming on season five rather than them up late, uh, like releasing it all late season four, and then when season five comes around, it's like so what's new with season five except of course the battle pass. Anyway, okay, so improved character customization. Now why don't they just like, have it in that update, and just, like, improve it to the max in this one. I don't know exactly how it will be, but, I yeah, I don't know what that, that means. Maybe there's just sort of, the, this is sort of the initial feature, and then they're going to expand on that. Anyway, that's a guaranteed thing they're working on. So if they're working on it, probably means, but not guaranteed, that that will be something that's coming, where some of the things in the future, I'll show you, uh, are just ideas. Mini games have no idea what that is. Well, as an idea, but I don't know, like, I, I, I as a... I, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. I don't know what it is, but I, as an idea, well, I would think it would be, is like, I don't even know. Uh, it, uh, like, different modes, maybe, but that's kind of a bit different. Like, mini games. I, like, every match is kind of a mini game. It's a short game. It's not like a 20 minute, 
match is like a short game. So I don't know. I don't know what that is. Okay, it's not like the minigun. Anyway, this here is also under the category of future, but they haven't started working on it. Gameplay optimization. I don't know if that's to do with graphics or if it's to do with balancing the game. I presume it's more to do with graphics. Or well, I don't know. Optimization can mean a whole range of things. Open for interpretation. Also, leaderboards revamp, which will be very interesting to see what they do because it's it's developed a lot over time. Season 1, I loved how they did that for a number of reasons. Like with the Season 1, they had 500, so it was so cool. You could see so many of them as well as they could just copy and paste it to a spreadsheet and then have all that data. And I collected all that data for like a couple of months, you know, until it stopped in I think November. I think it was, and then they cut it after season two, but that was really cool. Uh, currently, how the leaderboard works, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of it. Like, it works, it's nice, it looks nice, uh, but yeah, I don't know, I don't know, yeah. I, I reckon it could, yeah, anyway, I'll be curious to see how their leaderboard revamp goes. Okay, moving on to the next one. So, as you can see, leaderboard, uh, as well as the new weapons, which, interesting, there won't be new weapons in Season 5 that they've announced, and I presume that since this is an open, transparent thing that's accurate, there won't be any new weapons, which is fine by me, because there'll be enough of the other cool stuff, like, squads, let's go! It's kind of cool, because otherwise then you'd be like, if you had squads, it's like, ah, oh, and then there's new weapons, like, am I trying to break this, trying the new weapons, or focus on squads? But I'm happy to just focus on squads, rather than actually changing the gameplay as well at the same time so i think that's cool new weapons it will be coming eventually they haven't started working on those new weapons yet season six also of course so maybe new weapons in season six as well as a leaderboard revamp as well as gameplay optimization as well as improves customer characterization and i said that all wrong and minigun minigun okay boom so that that there is it as you can see the coming soon the future and whatnot okay so whoosh um there we go i'm just uh yep that's all good that's all good yeah okay boom okay so now someday someday okay there we go new map location so i'm Interesting that it's a new map, so maybe they're just gonna switch out the locations, which I'm kind of happy with It's kind of cool, but it's kind of sad losing the old ones, but it's kind of nice seeing the new ones Yeah, uh, so that's a pretty self-explanatory one custom game rooms That will be kind of cool, and I'm presuming they won't affect your stats Hopefully because then yeah, and you can I don't know like you know a custom game room of let's say 16 and if two people created it at the same time and then let's say challenge each other you could have 16 versus 16 I know many of you have been requesting that and I think that would be cool But that's another issue anyway custom game rooms I'm not sure exactly how that works But I presume someone can sort of create this room and then invite certain people into it I don't know surely it wouldn't be like a server like a game and you could just sort of like kick people in and join I, I wouldn't think it would be that I don't know exactly how it would work, but yeah anyway, let's move on boom also Battlelands YouTube videos in game. Let's go. That would be cool. Let's see if I can get a video into that. That would be cool um, And then you guys won't even have to come to YouTube. You just watch it in game. That would be kind of cool Anyway shop revamp. I'm yeah for me personally. I'm sort of I don't really care about the shop revamps like the, the, the shop looks cool, like, they seem to do a nice job of it, no matter how they do it, so, it's not something I'm excited about, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, go ahead, give me a new, a new shop. Okay, boom, so there we go, ideas, now these are ideas, these are, like, um, these are things that they're, like, not guaranteed that they're gonna do, but they're, they're thinking of them. Okay, new map styles. So, new map styles. And no, like, well, I'm assuming that's the theme. Like, you know, they had the winter theme, they had the default theme, they had the Halloween theme, they had the fall theme. Yeah, they've got a lot of themes. Uh, yeah, and so maybe, I don't know. Well, I was just looking at a Christmas one, but that's kind of related to the winter one. Uh, the full theme, that's kind of already a spring theme. And then it could be like blossom trees and that. That could be an idea. Anyway, that's just one thing that they're thinking about. Tournaments, let's go. I hope they do add tournaments. That would be kind of cool. And so it's like, I don't know. There's, there could be so many ways they do it. Like they could have like, you know, you over the, like you join this big tournament of like a hundred people and then you try and get as many wins as you can within like the next two or three days or the next hour. Or they could have it that, for example, you all sign up and then, for example, it's a bit like the Clash Royale thing, and you have to, like, win three in a row or not. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but you have to, like, let's say, win, like, uh, ten in a row or twenty in a row, and you're allowed to lose three in that time. So it sort of filters out those who, like, genuinely win heaps and heaps and heaps. So that would be an idea, and then, yeah, it would be real cool. Esports, maybe. Ooh, okay, anyway, anyway, anyway. Battle teams, clans, okay, that would be cool. Oh, that would be awesome to have clans. Couldn't wait for that. Well, I can wait, because I'm going to have to wait, because it's only an idea. It's not even in the next update. Uh, yeah, that would be cool. That would be cool. We'll be curious to see how they go, because some of the, the Battleland servers have come and gone in terms of the clans, but in-game clans. That would be very, very exciting. New game modes. Uh, that that's, could be absolutely anything. There could be so many things. You know, of course, there's 16 versus 16. There's so many different ways they could implement that. And I've got a couple of ideas on that that maybe I can share in a future video. Boom! Going on to this. And 
yeah, that there is just the overview snapshot, which shows all of them. Uh, and then anyway, 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 this one here, the one that is now no longer, it was an old snapshot I took. I took it just a day before today. And anyway, they've already changed one thing, and that is this right here. As you can see, it says trios and squads, but in the latest one, it says squads. So, my question, my question is, are they not going to do trios in the next one? And they've quickly removed it, because they're like, no, 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 Or are they just shortening it to squads, and it will be trios as well? I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know, but this here has been changed. It's been edited. And see, as you can see right there, it says trios and squads. It said this yesterday, and then as of today, I checked, and it only said squads. And then I, I asked in the in the chat, in the Battle of the Channel, I'm like, wait, did, didn't they see something about trios? I Because I, I checked back, and I couldn't see it. I'm like, I'm sure I saw something about trios, and it wasn't there anymore. So I presume, I presume the trios will still be in the game, but I can't guarantee it. Uh, it will be interesting, you know, to see if they can fill up the servers, because I just think, although there'll be massive boost of players, I think it will very soon, uh, you know, like maybe a month after the update, potentially be quite difficult to, you know, have, you know, like all the servers filled, you know, like, especially on an Australia server, like, with 300 people, you know, two to 400 people, if you have, like, uh, you know, heaps doing, you know, solos and duos, and then trios, and then squads, and then most of them already in-game, it would be almost impossible to find, like, another squad, like, two squads on when other people are doing the other categories, so it'll be hard to fill up servers, but it'll be kind of cool versus bots anyway, I don't mind, I'm happy to verse bots, but it's cool to verse players as well, but yeah, that was, that was the screenshot that has since been removed, well, as in, I snapshotted it before it was removed, uh, and so, yeah, that indeed is uh, that is uh, there's there's just so many cool stuff and also they might have the mid mid game update so not necessarily all of that stuff will only be season six I'm hoping that there'll be some stuff in between between season five and season six because yeah it'll be like not another two months of waiting uh but yeah. That indeed is it. That indeed is all this new cool stuff that will indeed be coming. That's what we know so far. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know. And oh, there, I'll leave it on that one because squad's confirmed. That's so cool. That Be sure to let me know in the comments. I do hope you enjoyed this video. I tried to make it interesting. I tried to switch it up. Sorry if it's too long. I just tried to do something different and I never, I didn't have any clue how long it would take. And I just tried to be talking about it and be interesting at the same time while providing you with some new information that you may or may not have known. Anyway, thank you so much for watching at this point. Please smash that like button if you enjoyed please subscribe and you much and i'll see you all next time for the next update but i'll see you before that for you know tomorrow's video but i'll see you in the next update season five four squads and so much new stuff have an absolutely awesome day and i'll see you all next time